So here we have a file in memoq and this file has been machine translated using the DeepL translation plugin, which you can see by this marker right here down on your left. As you can see, it's machine translation from MT slash DeepL MT plugin. And this is true for all, all the segments in this file. So if you want to remove this marker here, this machine translation marker, and what you can do is to close this file and then you would need to export it to a bilingual, to a bilingual file and to this plain XLIF for other tools. So you click this and you click export and you would just export it to any convenient location you have in your computer. So just click save and it will be exported. And now what you can do, you can minimize MemoQ and you can go to Bohemicus to the Stratos slash cats tab and to this xlif pre-translate slash remove ATs tab here. And you would just drag and drop your exported bilingual file, your exported MemoQ bilingual file right onto this gray box. And then you would just click this remove marks so you click it and uh, your machine translation markers will be removed and now what you can do is to go back to your memo queue and you would remove the original file from memo queue so you just click on it and you press for instance delete to remove it uh, sorry remove so right click and click remove yes and then what you would do is to drag and drop your modified MemoQ file with those markers removed. So you would drag and drop it onto MemoQ. And you would just add this new file. It's the identical file just with those empty markers removed. So as you can see, it's been imported. And now when you double click it, it will open. And as you can see, there are no markers left. So all markers have been removed. There is nothing. All traces of machine translation just disappeared.